everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here, ready with today's math lesson. So in math, we're moving on in chapter 12 to lesson number four called Decide When to Regroup. Remember, we're not talking about addition regrouping, we're talking about subtraction regrouping. So we have to make our thinking a little bit different here. Um, you might also notice that I put part one over here. That's because we are going to talk about deciding when to regroup in two different lessons. This one is part one right now, and then part two is going to be a different day. Okay, awesome. So I want you to have your practice book in front of you open up to the page where it says 12.4 practice. Okay, I think it might be 75 or 76. Make sure that you have that in front of you and a pencil. So you can work with me in your book. Okay? I know the directions over there say use with a work mat, number three, and then the tens and ones, six, but we're not going to do that. We're just working on the first two columns where it says show the greater number and do you need to regroup to subtract. We're only taking a look at the subtraction problems and the yes and the no column today, okay? You can leave everything else blank. We're working on that a different day. So let's do problem number one as an example. So question number one, even though it's already done for you, we can just still talk about it. it says 45 minus nine. Let's see if we can straighten this out a little bit. Nice. 45 minus 9. When the page is telling you to show the greater number, it wants you to circle the bigger number here. Which is the bigger number? 9 or 45? Yeah, for sure. The bigger number here is 45 by like a lot, okay? Now we get to answer the question in the second column over here. Do you need to regroup to subtract? What this question is asking you is, if you're looking at the ones, can you subtract the ones from over here from the ones in your greater number. So here is a different way to think about that. I have five cookies. I'm having a bake sale. I have five cookies here. You can see my cookies, one, two, three, four, five. Someone comes along and they are so super hungry. They go, Miss O'Neill, pretty please. Can I buy nine cookies from you? Well, how many cookies do you have? Do I have? I only have five cookies. And this person over here is asking for nine cookies. If I have five cookies, can I make, or can I sell them nine? No. I would have to go back into the kitchen and then bake more, and it would just be a whole hot mess. So, this is one of the cases where you would circle, yes, I do need to regroup. I can't take nine away from five. Nine is bigger here. All right, let's try it with another question. Let's try it with the next one number two on your practice book page and this one is not done for you okay let's pretend that yes is all the way erased awesome question number two has the subtraction problem 68 minus 3 68 minus 3 which number here is the bigger number? Is it going to be 68? Or is our bigger number going to be 3? Uh, yeah, the bigger number is going to be 68. So you can go ahead and circle 68. And take a look at the ones that we have over here. The number 
one spot over here and the number in the one spot over here. And now we have to think about our second question. Do you need to regroup to subtract? Let's say that I have eight cookies and somebody comes up and they ask me for three. If I have eight, can I give them three? Yeah, for sure. So do I need to regroup to subtract? Do I have to go back into the kitchen and start baking more cookies? No. We have our answer right there. Let's do one more before I let you go off and do your thing in your practice book. All right, let's circle, erase, wonderful. Cool, so now let's try the problem 72 minus five. I think you're starting to get the hang of this. Which number is bigger here, 72 or five? Yeah, for sure, it's gonna be 72. And now let's take a look at the numbers in the one spot so we can answer the second question. Do you need to regroup to subtract? Ooh. Two. Is the number in the ones place in 72? I have two cookies left on the plate at my bake sale and somebody comes up and they want five. Do I have enough? No. Do I have to go back into the kitchen and start baking some more cookies? Do I need to regroup? Yes, I do. So go ahead and circle your yes. All right, keep on working in that practice book. Remember, you're only doing the show the greater number column and the do you need to regroup to subtract column. Okay, just those two first columns. We are doing subtract the ones and how many tens and ones and what is the difference later, okay? Awesome, go ahead, give yourself a kiss on the forehead and a pat on the back, you smart second grade kid. I love you lots and I miss you so much and I will see you soon.